What's up YouTube, Demonic Midwinter back with another video. This is gonna be about section R of my CD collection, which is a pretty solid pile actually. Um, so let's get right into it. Starting off with a German heavy power speed metal band. Fantastic though. Um, I gave it, this is Rage with Resurrection Day. Gave this a 86.75%. Came out on Steam Hammer last year, 2021. Yeah really fucking good i will be coming back to this pretty soon probably um yeah go check this out fantastic artwork too i love the artwork on here i would love to get to see these guys live at some point to be honest and get this signed by the band because that would be awesome in my opinion i like having signatures from bands um in my collect cd collection other random bullshit collections because i do have a lot of those Mainly posters and flags. Yeah. But anyway, uh, next up is some incredible German industrial metal from Rammstein. This is Mutter. Came out in 2001 on Universal Records, I believe. That's what it looks like. Yeah, Universal and Republic. Okay, cool. This uh, this is fantastic, obviously. It's Rammstein. They, I don't think they have a bad album. Um, but yeah, hold on. Um, let me see. Um. So Mutter came out in 2001 and gave it a 92.18%. So very highly regarded by me. Go check this out if you've never jam jammed it. it Rammstein or God's I can't wait to go see them in a couple months. In five months? Jesus. Okay, that's coming up very soon. Holy shit. Anyway, um, yeah. Next up is Red Fang. Some, um, with this is Arrows. This is some amazing stoner rock, stoner metal from Portland, Oregon, and holy cow, I want to jam this again right now. This is a fun listen for me. Um, gave an 84.77. It actually could go up higher. I didn't think about that rating when I gave it that, but eh, whatever. Yeah. Go listen to this right now if you're into stoner rock and stoner metal. It is fucking awesome and so trippy. Go check this out. Next up. Uh, Oh, yeah. Next up is a um, label sampler I got from a, the Metalhead box not too long ago, I believe. This is um, a Redefining Darkness um, label sampler. This is Forever Underground. Really good stuff. There's a lot of good bands that I know on here, such as Cryptic Commutation, Anger Rot, and Oxygen Destroyer, to name a few. But this is 20 tracks. 20 tracks. That's a solid listen. I can't wait to jam this again, and or l listen to the, all these bands again in the future because that will probably happen. This I gave a ninety-one point six five percent. Obviously, it came out on um, Redefining Darkness. Duh. This is obviously Redefining Darkness' stuff, but yeah, go check this out. Highly, highly recommend if you can find a copy of it anywhere. Next up is some Belarusian Brutal Death Metal. This is Relics of Humanity with um, Decade of the um, of Desacralization. Probably butchered that fucking word. Anyway, this is really good Brutal Death Metal. Reminds me a lot of Internal Bleeding, which I feel like I've been talking a lot about with people recently. But whatever. Um, I love those guys. They're good friends of mine. Um, yeah. Go check this out. It sounds a lot, a decent amount like internal bleeding, I should say. But yeah, highly recommend it. Um, this, I gave an 86.75%. Came out in 2018 on Gore House Productions. So this game was one of those Gore House Productions grab bag CDs I got a long time ago. I feel bad not, I got that almost a year ago. I feel bad for not listening to that, to it until now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Gore House. Um, next up, some Stoner Rock, Stoner Doom from my home state of Long Island, my home of Long Island, New York, or former home of Long Island, New York. Um, I went to the same high school as the drummer, funnily enough, graduated a couple years, uh, some years apart, but yeah, and didn't know each other, but still, where are the chances? Um, this is Restless Spirit with Blood of the Old Gods. 
This is amazing. I gave it a 90.86%. Came out last year on Life's Blood Records, which I feel like I need to buy more from. Um, yeah, go check this out if you like Stone Rock and Stone Redeem. I feel like that's what a lot of this pile was, to be honest. Or a lot of really fun stuff. It was a lot of good stuff. Next up is some... Hold on, let me tell you what these... Dude, these... So Repsia, this is Italian Symphonic Power Metal. Let me tell you, this is not some good Symphonic Power Metal, to be honest. It came out last year, it's an EP with uh, all the songs sounding the same at the end, to be honest. You know, I gave it a 84.75. This is Rhapsody of Fire with I'll Be Your Hero. To me, I need, that rating needs to go down, to be honest, or Red Fang needs to go up. One or the two. Probably Red Fang going up, to be honest. And maybe this going down. I don't know. I'll figure that out next time I listen to both. But, yeah. Holy shit, this is bad, in my opinion. This could go down to one of the worst purchases I've ever done made. Yeah, don't b bother checking this out. This is mediocre Symphonic Power Metal. I wish I liked it, because I do like Rhapsody. Eh, this was okay. And I do enjoy some of Rhapsody of Fire's stuff. Whatever. Can't win them all. Um, but anyway, um, that was decent. Next is some more decent stuff, which I got from the other box. Um, this is ripped. It's spelled, hold on, R-I-P-P-R apostrophe D. Some s stupid crossover thrash, I guess. I don't know. Hold on. Rippered. I don't know. I can't pronounce this name ever. So these guys are Canadian crossover thrash. That's what I was thinking. Okay. This came out. This is red, white, and ripped. Ugh. Like, come on. Why? This is. It's okay. It's not my what I was in, I'm ever in the mood for, to be honest. It's okay. This is. It's crossover thrash. Goofy ass crossover thrash. I don't hate it though. Um, I gave it an 84.89%. Yeah, this is the same where it is, and probably got 85 is going down. Damn, fuck. That sucks for that album. But anyway, the next two are gems in this collection. I love these two albums. They're not, they're well from a pretty well known band, and that band is Rivers of Nile or Nil. I think it's Nile. I don't know, whatever. This is Where Owls Know My Name. This came out in 2018, I should say, sorry. On Metal Blade Records. This is fucking amazing. Holy shit. I want to jam this again right now, to be honest. This, yeah, gave in 91.8%. Um, go check this album out if you've never jammed Rivers of Iron. You like progressive technical deathcore. Yeah, go check this out. Highly recommend this. And the next one, if you like even more progressive shit than this. Next, and then the follow-up, I believe. Yeah, had to have been. 2021's the work. And for some reason, this fucking album gets a lot, has, is very controversial. I don't know why. It's amazing. And I don't like progressive stuff. I don't like most progressive stuff. Metal-wise or rock-wise. Like, really. And this is one of my favorite albums of last year. This came out last year, obviously, um, in 2021. Gave an 89.82%. Go check this out if you've never jammed it or you've been holding off on jamming it for whatever reason. You need to jam this right now. Go jam it. Next up is a fantastic box set from that I've had for 10 months, I think, now. Let me see. 10 or 11? 10 months, yeah. And I got this from a record store on Long Island, New York. Well, on Long Island. Back on Long Island. Uh, I, I don't know how I've had this for so long and have, hadn't jammed it yet, to be honest. It's a great box set. And it comes with a lot of cool stuff. I'll open it in a second. But I'll, I'll first show you the front and back. This is Rotting Christ with the Her Heretics. This came out... Uh, I'll tell you about it first, I guess. Now I'll show you the cool stuff inside. This came out in Season of Mist. Um, in... 2019, I gave it 
I love this. I love, and I can't wait to go see them in about a month. Jesus. Okay, that's gonna be a fun time. Yeah, next, the, the, this is a fantastic release from them. I love it. I love most of their stuff too. Other stuff too. I need more of their merch, to be honest, and CDs. But anyway, um, this is, a, it comes with a patch, a really cool patch, which I gotta figure out what the hell that's going on. Might go on this list. No, I'm trying to figure it out right now. Can't, I'm not showing it yet because it's not even the actual vest I'm gonna use. So yeah, but it also comes with this sweatband, which I'm definitely gonna keep out. Um, very cool Rod and Christ sweatband. Comes with a nice size poster too. Holy cow. I mean, I want to get framed, this framed, I think. Maybe, I don't know. I'll have to, I want to get this, I won't, definitely want to do something with this though. There it is. I don't know. I mean, ooh, ooh, okay. I thought that was going to rip for a second. That scared me for a second. I don't want to rip the poster in my collection. That's a sweet poster. If you don't like Riding Christ, sorry. Or what they, or there's this imagery. Sorry, I don't care. They're a fantastic symphonic black metal band from Greece. If I hadn't said that already, sorry. But yeah, go check them out. If This is the album itself. Yeah, fantastic. I love this album. This, I, I'm keeping it in the box. I'm going to keep the poster in the box, too, actually, for right now. Yeah, this is fantastic. Go check, go pick this album up, please. Rotting Christ is a fantastic band. Go check this album. This album, if you like them that much, get the box set, too. Um, next, the last three. They are all from the same band, and they are one of my, it's one of my all-time favorite bands, which is... Another proggy band, one of the founders of prog rock, I I believe, possibly I don't know, whatever. They're one of my favorites. Though. Rush, this is Fly by Night, obviously. Um, this is amazing. This came out in 1975, so it's four years younger than my dad. Jesus Christ, that's that's crazy. So it's 46 right now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, it feels weird having an album that old in my collection. I don't know why. If it just does to me, but this is a fantastic album. It came out on Anthem and Mercury. Or Mercury. Mercury. Um, in 1975, I gave it 90.38%. I don't know if I showed the inside. Sorry. Here. There we go. And then back. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Fantastic, though. Night. Give it 90.38%. Go check it out if you, for whatever reason, never jammed it. I don't know what, I don't know what the fuck you're, what kind of rock you've, you've, you've been living under if you've never jammed that album. Go jam it. Same with this, this one. This is Rush with Moving Pictures. Um, gave it a 91.86%, came out in 1981. This one I've had a little bit of trouble getting opened. It came out on Mercury as well. Um, I think, yeah, Mercury. And holy shit, this is more amazing prog rock, I guess. Yeah, prog rock. Yeah. Um, given ninety one point eight six. Yeah. I mean, this is I think this is I think my favorite Rush album ever. At I might do a ranking of those at some point in time. Once I get all of them in my collection, probably I might do that with like their entire discography. Like, give like talk about each one rating wise. That might be a thing to do, actually. I gotta write that down. Like, right, finally, anyway, finally, um, Rush, The Spirit of the Radio, of Radio, Greatest Hits, 1974 to 1987. This came out in 2003 on, I don't know the label, on Mercury slash Anthem. Okay, good. Uh, this is amazing, this is an amazing compilation. Obviously, it's the greatest hits, but yeah. Given 91.75, it has all the classics on it. That's why I rated it so high. I think I need to type it into my Google Doc. I guess I keep a Google Doc too of every CD. But anyway, that I'll get to that in a second. Uh, but that's it for this video. This is a fun. This section, section R, was a good section. This next section is going to take me 
a while. I got like two shelves of, I got like three shelves of stuff actually. Oh fuck, that's gonna that's gonna be fun. I think it's like three, right? yeah, roughly three. Holy shit, or two and a half, whatever, whatever, two and a half, three. Yeah, it's gonna be a long section. So, but stay tuned for that. Um, I'm gonna get working on it right now, actually. But that's it for this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and stay metal.